Hey, what's up YouTube? Today I'm gonna to be talking about a common issue that makes weight loss nearly impossible for many people and that's cravings. Do you ever get a deep craving for something like a temptation, the temptation itches at you, the food is always on your mind, you're probably thinking of that food right now. So before you binge on it again, let me show you some common solutions for common causes of cravings. Now, before I start, just know that the solution you take will depend on what's causing your cravings, and it's totally possible that many things are causing your cravings, so you might have to do more than one solution. So, first cause of cravings is hunger. Here are some solutions if your cravings are caused by poor hunger management. The first is to eat more protein and vegetables at every meal, alongside drinking more water. Protein and vegetables are very filling foods that provide a lot of nutrients for your body while containing very little calories. Your body feels far more nourished as well as drinking water will make it more full, reducing cravings. The second solution to hunger-based cravings is to not skip meals. For many people, skipping meals can make them very hungry later on in the day and cause excessive binging, usually on desserts. The third solution to hunger-based cravings is to prioritize quality sleep. Research has shown not getting enough sleep is a massive driver for cravings. Sleeping eight hours consistently alone might be the most powerful weapon to combat cravings. And the last solution for hunger-based cravings is to increase the calories in your diet. Perhaps you're dieting too aggressively and your diet just doesn't provide enough food for you to stay full. This is a good time to increase calories slightly and it'll prevent excessive food cravings. Now, let's move on to the second cause of cravings, which is convenience. Meaning sometimes we give in to our cravings consistently just because it's very, very easy to. The solution to this is simple. Make the temptation impossible by removing it completely. This means replacing the junk in your house with healthier alternatives. When junk food isn't close in proximity, cravings will diminish significantly. The next most common cause of cravings is deprivation. This means you might be dieting too long or is part of a diet that's too restrictive. Dieting does involve sacrifice, but you should never ever feel disgustingly miserable. There are three solutions to cravings caused by deprivation. The first is to find a diet that allows you to eat your favorite foods or to hire a coach, like myself, to create a custom nutrition plan that includes your favorite foods. This is something I do for all of my coaching clients, which is why they're able to lose weight and enjoy it. The next solution to deprivation-based cravings is to find a buffer food. Buffer foods are foods that won't necessarily ruin your diet, but will satisfy you enough not to give in to cravings. For example, if you crave sweets, maybe yogurt might be a buffer food. If you crave pizza, maybe cauliflower pizza is a better alternative as a buffer food. And for all my ice cream lovers, I find that Halo Top is a great buffer food. The third solution to deprivation-based cravings is to simply eat the food you crave guilt-free in a somewhat reasonable amount and then get back on track the next meal. It's not a big deal to eat whatever you're craving guilt-free sometimes. If you avoid it for too long, things could get worse. Like for example, it's better to eat a few slices of pizza every two weeks instead of restricting yourself consistently and then binge on a whole pizza every single month. Moving on, the last common cause of cravings is stress. For stress-based cravings, here's what you should do. First, figure out what's causing you to run to food for excessive comfort. It could be relationship issues, financial issues, issues with work, different things like that. And then find a friend or a coach to talk to them about that. Next, you need to replace food binging with stress-reducing activities. This could be stretching, going for a walk, talking to a friend, or cuddling a puppy. Lastly, for stress-based cravings, I recommend finding expertise and accountability. Hiring a coach to make sure you stay on track is crucial because it's very easy to resort back to bad habits when there's no accountability or no expertise to guide you in the right direction. So to recap, here's a graph showing the best solutions depending on what's causing your cravings. That's all for this video, YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, YouTube. Peace.